Hello, my name is Garrett T. Caps. I'm sitting here with Ernest Hernandez from San Antonio's premier surf rock band, King Pelican. How's it going? Man, Garrett's going well. It is so good to see you, my friend. It is. It is just great to see people. Totally. Um, so thank you for showing up here to rock today on a, what is today? Tuesday. It's a Tuesday afternoon. It is our pleasure. Thanks for having us. This is a lot of fun. Um, what have you all been up to? I mean, it's, it's been a wild, wild and extreme and terrible ride for what's almost been 12 months now. Yeah, well, first and foremost, you know, we've been staying healthy, you know, staying well, trying to avoid COVID as much as possible. Uh, it's been, needless to say, a bummer that we've had uh, one gig since our last gig was March 14th. And since then, we did one gig in October, right? Except for today, which is fabulous. Luckily, we've been working on a record. So that was already in the works. And being uh, having the downtown downtime allowed us to finish the mixes, uh, to get it mastered, uh, to get the artwork done, to get the whole production process going. So we're lucky, thankful for that. And uh, that record should be coming out, you know, hopefully soon. On vinyl. On vinyl. Uh, it's called East Meets West. It's currently available on Bandcamp. Uh, but the vinyl is coming out hopefully later this month, if not, then in February. Uh, it's a seven inch EP, four songs. Uh, two songs have a very Eastern, a Lucky Japanese feel to it. Lucky's 60 style Japanese surf, basically. 
and the west side of the record has a, that spaghetti western feel to it. Well, that's awesome. Y'all recorded it here in town. You're releasing the seven inch as soon as you get it. And uh, the songs are phenomenal. Um, when did y'all write those? Uh, we've got, uh, over the past couple of years, we've been writing a lot of material. Uh, everybody in the band writes now. All three of us write. Um, and we've been writing material and throwing it up against the wall, seeing what sticks. We actually have more songs recorded, but we decided to go with something thematic for this release. We wanted to go all out. Um, we, 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 we wanted vinyl. We wanted it to be color, you know, transparent orange vinyl. Uh, we worked with a great graphic designer in town that really knocked it out of the park as far as the cover art and the concept. We wanted to have, Garrett, that one object that, not saying this is the last thing we'll ever do, but if it were the last thing we ever did, we wanted to be really proud. So we, we, we put our four best songs forward, at least that would fit into a theme, and we went with that. And the good news is we've got about four or five other burners uh, there at Harder Studio that we can go back to and finish up and release something cool. after that. I've always felt that like that uh, kind of mindset that you just described about it being the best thing you've ever done is just kind of how y'all do things. I, I think that's true. I don't know that's a good thing or bad <laughs> thing, but it certainly is our thing, right? So... That's just kind of how we're wired. We, we, we could have put more stuff out. You know, we had a CD that's been out for, uh, since we released it in 2015. So we're kind of slow, a little bit. But you travel. Y'all have traveled to different surf yeah, uh, yeah. events, festivals, we, conventions? Yeah, we've been out to California, Huntington Beach. We've been to Mexico City for gigs out there. Uh, we've been in the Atlanta area and, you know, of course, throughout uh, areas in Texas. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool that, you know, there is, there's a crowd out there that's digging what we do. And uh, it's not just like surf enthusiasts or, you know, old dudes in, in Hawaiian shirts. Not that there's anything wrong with being <laughs> old. But it's a younger crowd, too. They're getting hip to the sounds. You know, you've got some bands that are on the scene that, you know, I don't want to name drop anybody, but there's an awesome band in Houston. That's an instrumental band. They do kind of like a chill surf thing uh-huh and you know it's it's uh i think i think the timing's good for us right now if we could just get out and gig <laughs> well i mean surf music is uh is very uh special and y'all definitely pay tribute to the roots of it while progressing it and um how is it what is it like being a san antonio surf band when you go to these when you meet up and get connected with the scene. Well, I, I think it's I think it's a similar experience that a lot of us have, whether you're in a band or not, and you go anywhere. Uh, folks just dig Texans. They want to totally. know about you. They want to know, you know, especially you're from San Antonio. Then there's really like an interest. So I don't necessarily hear it in my ears, Garrett, but the first thing people started telling us is that we had a southwestern sound, sound southwestern sounding surf. Yeah, And I didn't pick up on it because I wasn't purposely trying to do that. But, you know, you're raised in this environment. I've lived here all my life. You know, I, I moved out of town a couple of times for work. But I'm San Antonio, you know, homegrown native from the southeast side of town. So I guess you just are who you are, right? And it comes out in your art. It comes out in your expression. So that's really the main thing that we hear a lot is that we sound like we're from Texas, for whatever that is worth. You know, as a surf band, it's kind of, you know, unusual, right? Right. But it's, it's fun. And, and as far as I'm concerned, people can refer to us however. I don't necessarily think we're very traditional surf. You know, really, first and foremost, we just try to write good rock and roll songs. Yeah, totally. And I mean, then they're instrumental, so we go from there. And, and how people want to interpret that and, and describe it to their friends, it's all good with me. Tell us about the origins of King Pelican. How long have you been uh, doing this, and how did you form? Well, um, okay, so here, here, how's how it went down? Uh, we all know Mr. Dennis Fallon, right? Guitar player extraordinaire. Him and I had been friends for a long time, and him and I spent some time playing in a band together. 
and uh, we both discovered we had uh, a love for 60s surf music. And the band we played in, he had, he had written a, a medley of um, Miserloo and Pipeline together. And it was just really dynamic the way he did it and the way he played it. I played rhythm for him, and he did the histrionics of Dick Dale and everything. And so we had threatened to get a surf band together forever. And in 2007, I called him up. He'd been on the road with a band he played in at the time. He was home. I called him up. I said, I'm going to your house. I've got beer. I've got records, and I've got my guitar. We're going to do this. Part of it, Garrett, was that my sons were the age that they were watching SpongeBob SquarePants. So SpongeBob featured a lot of good instrumental ambient and some surf stuff in it. So I said, I'm going to do this for fun. We started Pelican, did a bunch of covers. It was really, quite honestly, kind of a dad band. Um, and then I started to write. And in 2009, Darren Cooper joined. And things got a little more you know, serious. We, we started to write. In 12, we put out a, 2012, we put out a five-song EP of original material. But uh, we felt you know, things were going well. In 2015, we did CD. And then we had Lloyd Walsh join the band in late 2014. And that's when everything solidified. Now, we had, we had been a four-piece a couple of times. We had different bass players, different drummers. But with the three of us, we're, we're so similar in, I think, our attitude and our likes and our dislikes and our drinking styles that, you know, it just worked. So really, I think the band... The way, the way I count it now, man, it's 2014, Lloyd Walsh, Darren Cooper, and myself. That's really when King Pelican, as we know today, came together. Excellent. Here at Music Go Around, we buy quality used musical instruments every day. We're here at Blanco Road, just north of 410, and we're open every day to service you.
What else can I say? Trail of Dead are one of the most legendary alternative rock bands to come out of Austin, Texas. And they drove down I-35 for a special set here at the Lonesome Lounge Sessions.